Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you this butterfly mask tutorial. So first, I'm gluing my eyebrows down with a little glue stick. And then I am going to be tracing out the shape of the butterfly. So I'm just trying my best to match the other side. Um, I did keep some of the mistakes that I made in the tutorial just so that you can see that it's actually like a pretty easy um, clean up. Like if you see right here, like I'll end up messing up and I'll just wipe it away and try again. And that's basically what it is. That's why I'm using this new pencil first just because it'll make it super easy to outline, do what I have to do, and then once I'm happy with it, I go over it with black. Right here I am taking the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It's a nice matte foundation, so I'm going to be using that to fill in the entire butterfly shape. And then I'm going to blend it out with a little baby beauty blender, just so that I have a really nice smooth canvas for all of my eyeshadows to go onto, so that I don't have to worry about the colors not looking vibrant or anything. This will really help to act as a nice base. I'm taking this yellow eyeshadow base and I am going to be using that on the top part of my butterfly because I know that these lighter colors like reds, oranges, yellows, and even the light green that I use, it's not going to look as vibrant if I just put it on the base that I have now. So I thought it would be a good idea to use this yellow base because it's going to help the colors look a lot more vibrant against my skin. Now here is the fun part. Here is where I start adding the shadow. Having a palette like this that has multiple colors in it and colors that you can play with and mix and match and everything is a good palette to have. This is the e.l.f. 100 color palette and I'm literally, I'll point out the shades that I'm using to you, but I'm basically just building up color and um, placing color and just creating my gradient. There's no rhyme or reason to this and there's no right way to do it. I started with yellow on the inside and I gradiated to red on the outside and then I start from green in the middle like a yellow green in the middle and I gradiate to purple on the end and I just keep doing that so enjoy while you watch me do it. Now I'm taking a long-lasting black eyeliner pencil and I'm outlining the shape of my butterfly. And you'll see that I'm just looking back and forth at each side and making sure things are as even as they can be. But of course we know that this isn't going to be perfect, so just try your best. It'll come out great. I know it will. I'm taking this pigment from Makeup Geek, it's called Afterglow, and it just acts as a really nice highlighter and it helps to give me a nice sheen because all the eyeshadows that I used 
were matte shades. So now I'm going back in just to give my butterfly a nice little glow and I just apply that right there. And then this is where I start to make the designs in the butterfly. So I'm trying my hardest to make everything as even as I can. But like I said earlier, there's really no direction for this butterfly. It's basically all just winging it. And that's what I did. And if I messed up, if you catch some of my mistakes, I left them in here. But if I messed up, I just went on the other side and I evened it out. There's really no messing this up because it's all what you create, what you like. <laughs> So right here wasn't even with the other side, so I just went in with a Q-tip and I kind of erased it. And then I went right over it with the red shadow and it blends right in once we shade later. So don't go too crazy trying to get your lines perfect or trying to get um, anything to look literally identical as the other side. It's going to look extremely similar, but nothing is going to be identical. It's just almost impossible. So right here when you start shading is really when your butterfly really starts to come alive. So I just went crazy. I just started shading where I thought it looked like it needed to be a little darker there and I wanted some shadow there. Again, this whole entire look doesn't have any type of rules or any directions. It's basically all how your creativity works and how you see it looking best. So I just shaded everywhere. My shades probably don't even make sense like shadow wise, but I really liked the way that I ended up shading everything and it doesn't have to be perfect. Feel free to touch up any of your colors anytime during this look. It's never too late to make something more vibrant or make something look a little deeper. So that's what I'm doing right here with the darker colors. False lashes would probably look really, really nice with this makeup look, make your eyes look really girly and nice, but I don't really wear false lashes ever, and uh, I didn't have any for this look even to try. So if you want to try false lashes, go for it. I'm sure it's going to look amazing, but I just didn't have any and I don't really wear them. But now I'm mixing a really, really glowy highlighter in with a foundation and I'm applying that to my skin to make my skin look glowing from within and just look absolutely flawless. And I'm just blending that out. Be careful around the edges because if you get too close to the eyeliner, the eyeliner can turn like a weird blue color around the edges. So just be careful around the edges, get a really precise brush and take your time with this part. I'm doing some last finishing touches here and then we are going to get straight on into the lips. 
So for the lip color, I gave you a few different options. So the first option is this really pretty pink color. Then you can have a really nice red, a purple, or my favorite, an orange. Just choose whichever one you want. You could do really whatever you want, blue, green, purple, anything. And I'm just applying some winged eyeliner here because I felt like my eyes didn't look defined. And then that's it. I hope this was helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye. Mwah. Inside your eyes, your crazy loving keeps me paralyzed